Hi, this is Kimes. I work for ITAcademy.in and in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of new features of ASP.NET 4.0. So, we will actually focus on four different features of ASP.NET 4.0 like view state mode. I will also talk about client ID mode, enable persistent selection, and do client ID those topics as well. First, I'm actually going to concentrate on the view state mode improvements in ASP.NET 4.0. So I'll take you to Visual Studio 2010 and then I'm going to create a simple website and we'll call this as some ASP.NET 4.0 new features. And this is targeted for .NET Framework 4.0 and in C sharp and I click on OK. So once I'm in the Solution Explorer, I'm actually trying to create a new web page and I'll call this as something like say view state example. Before I actually show you what exactly is the view state mode enhancement uh, made, uh, I'll actually show you how earlier our view state used to work earlier. So to demonstrate to you this example from the toolbox, let's say I've got a label with me, then I've got a button, and I'm taking the initial value of label as zero, let's say, and I call this button something like say submit. Now, what's my plan here? I just want to demonstrate to you how view state used to work uh, in the earlier versions of ASP.NET. In the page load, I'm simply trying to say label one dot text equal to and this whole thing will try to convert that to two string. So what you can see here, every time a post back happens, the value of this label should get increased. It's a very simple example, nothing else. So when I test this page, so as and when I click on the submit button, you can see the value is actually getting increased. And during the post backs, with the help of the view state, the value is being retained. This is natural behavior of ASP.NET. But what if I take you to the source view and then if I say enable view state equal to false. So you're actually turning off the view state at page level and then when I test this page and when I click on submit you can see the value is not actually getting increased because you have actually turned off the view state facility at the at the page level. But instead of that, what if I do can enable the view state at control level as well? Now if I say enable view state as true at control level and then I leave this page level still as false and if I test this page one more time. So in spite of that when I click on submit you can see the value is not getting increased. So that clearly tells you that uh, enable view state behaves differently at, at page level when it turned off and then at control level we turned it on but still for all the controls it's been turned off. So that is where view state mode actually helps you to solve this problem. So now I'll show you the difference between enable view state and the new view state mode property. I'm trying to create a new page and I'm calling this as view state mode example and I click on OK. So now if I can come back to my design view and as usual I'm trying to have a label and then a button and the initial value of this label I'll take it as zero and this button I'll call this as submit and um, 
I'll actually copy the same code from my previous example into this. Now in the ASPX file, what I'm trying to do, so we have got something like say view state mode property. So it has got three different properties like um, enabled, disabled and uh, inherit. Inherit is obviously the default option. So what I'm trying to do, I'm actually trying to disable the view state mode at a page level and um, at a control level we're trying to say it should be enabled. In my previous demonstration just in this place I was having enabled view state and when I turned it off at page level and enabled at control level it didn't work. But this time we are using the new property called as view state mode which I'm disabling at page level and obviously enabling at a control level and now let's see whether it works or not. Now when I click on submit you can see my value is getting increased and that clearly tells you uh, unlike enable view state, view state mode it helps you to disable at page level and only enable it for a specific control. And if I have any other controls in this web page now obviously for those controls view state mode is uh, not is disabled so its, it's data is not retained in the view state anymore only for this control the view state is enabled for us so that's how the difference between enable view state and view state mode can be demonstrated thank you for watching this and uh, in my next video I'm going to concentrate on my other topics like um, client ID mode enable persistent selection and client ID row topics. Again, if you wish to buy the full length videos, you can visit itacademy.in and you can write, write to us. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.